Hello and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today we're going to show you a visual solution for checking movement for parts and pieces like nuts and bolts, whether it be from vibration, usage, or tampering. I want to introduce to you Dicom Crosscheck Torque Seal. All right, Crosscheck provides a secure visual indication for any nut or bolt movement so you can quickly see which areas need to be addressed without the hassle or strain of checking each part by hand, which can be a pain. Now, think of it as a wax seal for industrial use. All right, now let's see how this actually works. Now, I've got a nut and bolt here for demonstration purposes, and our cross check paste comes in a whole bunch of different colors, which is very cool. But first, I'm going to put on my PPE just to make sure that we are safe. And I want to make sure you do the same. Whatever the job calls for, make sure that you wear the proper PPE. Okay, so we're going to take this nut and bolt right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the orange cross check and I'm going to apply a thin bead in a line across the threads of the bolt and the nut so I can see this very clearly. And as you can see, I've covered the whole area of the threads and the nut and down there. So it's one continuous line. So if at any point in time that nut were to move after it dries, it's going to show a crack in it. Now, it dries to the touch in 45 minutes, but it really requires 24 hours to fully cure. Once it's dry, you can see if there's been any movement, as I said, by the broken line that I've just made. It's really easy to spot. Now, cross-check remains pliable and withstands high temps, so it won't break down or get brittle. And it comes in a variety of colors, as you see right here. Eight colors. Pretty cool. Five are fluorescent under black light. Now the product is great for use anywhere. Maintaining torque is crucial. And for those of you within the aviation industry, there's Crosscheck Plus that we have right here. It's got a faster dry to the touch time and a formulation that is sky draw resistant. All right. So now I'm going to show you how this actually works. So, all right. See now, as you can see, there it is. I'm going to show you that right there. So you can see how that seal is broken right there. And you know, hey, something has gone wrong with the torque. Well, that about does it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Hey, be sure to check out other videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Just go to mihowto.com. In the meantime, pick up some cross-check and make sure your torque seals are all good to go. Thanks, Dykem.